Okay, so in today's video, we'll be showing a representation of a timer in function block. For those who like to, to use function block or need to use to troubleshoot or anything like that, program with it, this would be very helpful. Again, we'll be using the emulator software, uh, so I need to start my emulator. But I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make my, my controller in there. And uh, the, so as far as the type, I'll put my version in there, version 20. And I'll put uh, for my processor name, function block timer. And then we'll be using slot 1 in the emulator software or in the emulator chassis. So yes, I want to replace it. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change this from periodic task to continue or continue continuous task to periodic. Um, I'll make the representation of what it is as far as the name. Uh, put periodic. I know this is stuff that uh, you, know, you, you don't really need to know. Um, and then we'll add a uh, new routine and we'll have we'll in our type down here we'll put function block diagram and we'll put timer example and we'll spell example right okay so uh, at that point we'll go in our main program we'll JSR and jump to subroutine jump to subroutine in our and that that'll basically tie our, our main routine with uh, the routine we just added. Okay, so that's in place. Um, now what we need to do is start our emulator software. So that's started. And as soon as it starts, basically we want to go online. We want to download to our uh, BB our ABVBP, which is our virtual backplane. Um, again, you noted that we're in, our processor is in slot one, so we'll go to slot one. And it may not be started yet, let's see. Okay, so download. And this is just a, a download of, um, of what we're making right now, so it should be quick. Then it's going to be in remote run. Click put it in run. Okay, so now we can go to our. Actually, let's let's make this chart a little bigger. So go offline, right click, properties, sheet layout. I like to make my chart pretty big. Uh, so at least a uh, 17 by 24 or 22, and that gives you a better room to work with. Again, so let's download. And we'll download real quick. Sorry to take up so much of your time with this, this stuff that is not really related. I mean, it is, but you want to see the timer representation here, all right? So, okay, so now we're in here. Uh, we click the edit box, and then we want to put in a timer, right? So a timer. We want to use a timer on. And what we'll do is we'll put... Uh, We'll make a tag that says timer timer enable. So we want to use this as is basically if it's equal to a one or zero. I see why is this not working? Oh, I know why that. Okay, so I changed my, my data types wrong. Okay, so uh, real quick, I'll delete this one. So I'll go to my hit monitor, hit, make sure I delete it out of here, go back to edit. Uh, I want to delete this. Then I want to come back in and add a data type. And make sure it's a bool. You know, I've accidentally made that one a, a dent. So this is going to be the bit that if it's equal to 1, the timer will start. We'll put a default preset 
and we'll put a default preset. And this is again in, in milliseconds. So in our logic is about 1,000. You know, 1,000 equals 1 second. So we'll put it as 5 seconds, 5,000 milliseconds. And then you can do a program preset, or you can have it reset on its own as soon as it's done. So, real quick, we'll, we'll just look at this example. Okay, so now it's it's actually a working timer, but we do not have it enabled. So, let's show, let's cut the, the enable bit on. And now the timer is running. So what we can do as well is we can you can come in here and, and not have it reset on its own. We can put a reset in there, if we, you know, as far as a bit control. So if you didn't want the, the timer to reset on its own, you could, you could reset it. And again, make sure your, your data type is a bool. So with this, now the timer is going to go to a done state. And it's not going to reset until we, we reset it. So uh, let's go to monitor. And in monitor, we'll go ahead and reset it. And the timer should start back. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. It won't, won't continue. <laughs> it won't keep a note that you, it needs to be like a, a on off scenario. So it won't run it while the reset's still held high. So if you see that, you kind of seen how the reset was, was still at a 1. It was constantly resetting it, and it would not allow it to. Um, so for a free run example, again, just tie the reset. Tie the reset in with it done. And that's basically how you, you would use that. Um, so let's let's do one more. Let's do like a, like a, uh, a counter as well. Let's do a, a countdown, count up scenario. And what we'll do too is, is we'll throw in a counter and we'll, we'll tie in the enable. And then we'll put a count up. You can do a count down if you want. Um, and, you know, we'll put like a preset or something. Uh, we'll put 20 just as a representation. We're probably never going to hit that. Okay, so just tie that in with preset and then tie the reset into the done again. And every time the done bit comes on on the timer, it's going to count. So the count of uh, the, the count up right now is it to an accumulated uh, state of two. So I believe we can view and watch. So if you wanted to like watch what you just did and like watch what it's doing, you can see that the, the counter value or the, the counter is at six right now. It coincides with that with the program what you see up there. Uh, the counter of the timer itself is is at that the the value that is currently at at the ACC. And so you don't have to have the, the watch, but you can use that. I mean you can pretty much see what's going on. So as soon as this hits 20, it's going to uh, reset. So this is just a real simple cut and dry method to use a timer in a function block and to also use a counter in a function block. Uh, nothing special going on, uh, you know, just a, a representation of getting a base function of, of how it works in, inside of the uh, function block scenario. Uh, so something real quick, you know. Uh, and uh, we, we have different stuff we can do with that. I'll probably start making a lot of videos uh, to pr basically show functional function block examples. You know, I have some some examples of of uh, structure text, uh, server controls, and just general controls. So we're at, right at the point where it's going to hit done, and it's going to reset. So the, the counter just hit reset. Uh, we can actually let it count and then count down to. So say for instance, we, we let it count, um, let's change this to one second to kind of speed the video up. So it's going to sit there and count. Um, we'll let it count up a little bit, like close to 20. 
and then we'll shift our efforts from here the done to the countdown so you'll see this start this will start counting down instead of up so you can use this the counter is you know it's, it's pretty versatile you can use it however you want to um, so again we'll we'll leave it as a, uh, a count up so and that again that, that not to take up too much of your time I just wanted to show a representation of a timer using function block so I'll have more videos to come if you would like um, leave me a comment below if you you like to see more videos or, or different directions of, of what you would like to see or just um, you know uh, if this was helpful or not also you can visit my website at uh, online plc support.com and I'll be having articles about everything I'm making as far as YouTube videos and stuff like that so that it have more uh, detail and I also have like code examples um, just different ways to, to uh, use things um, though I will say that that website is in development so you know as it as I make stuff and as I go around and input it uh, I like to do a lot of detail on it so I'd like to, to get a little more detail on the website rather than uh, you know a 10 or 15 minute video so uh, visit that website if you want to again it's online PLC support.com uh, it's real helpful for training and stuff like that that's, that's what I'm trying to make it for and I uh, also have a lot of a lot of other videos on my YouTube channel, so just feel free to, to check those out. And if you like to like to see updates like this, uh, just subscribe and and let me know your thoughts. Okay, thank you for your time, and uh, hope everything's going well.